Hello everyone and welcome back to Cities by Steven. You're talking to Steven. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, please hit that subscribe button. Get that bell notification on too, so you don't miss out on the next episode of Brockton County in Ontario Theme City. And make sure to hit the like button too. The like button helps the channel a lot. Welcome back to the city. Last episode we looked at filling in some gaps uh, around the lake shore. And uh, I am recording this the day after I recorded the last one, so I haven't seen your name suggestions for that uh, area yet. But we'll go back over there so we can see it. And if uh, uh, if, if you like, you can leave a name suggestion for the little district that we're building. It's actually right around where we are right now. Uh, that's kind of the name of the game for today's episode as well. Uh, we're going to be taking some high value land and we're going to be meeting a lot of our uh, city demands. That's a really good view of the zoo, isn't it? Wow, I really, uh, I really like that. That's, not, that's nice. Uh, I was uh, debating about doing a couple other things today, but I feel like we should really capitalize on the... Uh, the amount of residential demand uh, we have right now, so uh, I'll stop teasing it and uh, let's take a quick peek at this. Holy moly, it is maxed out. So, funny story, last episode, if you missed it, while we built up Daffodil Park, which is a really cool little build, uh, high density residential build, um, the cool office building as a main feature, and a more uh, urban high school uh, with pretty cool transitional zone over here um so yeah this is the the area for grabs so uh we as we we're doing this we realized that i had at some point i don't know when it could have been a long time ago it could have been 20 minutes before recording the last episode i put high-rise ban on the entire city whoa right yeah so luckily the city didn't uh didn't destroy itself and we have a lot, all our high-rises still but it meant that um a lot of the areas over here especially were all changed up so i've kind of simmed for a little while to give the the areas uh that we were looking um at kind of having transitional medium districts or sorry medium density uh zones as we had a couple episodes about uh say like a month and a half ago maybe um which were these districts over here so i just wanted to or sorry i just needed to uh let the game sim so that all these buildings could destroy themselves because because they became high rises and then uh, redo themselves so or rebuild themselves so like some of these buildings were um, like uh, like this size and that was not what the purpose of the area was so I went through the entire city and just made sure that everything was as we had originally planned so there are still there are still some gaps um, particularly around the offices uh, but that's okay we can uh, let the game kind of sim as we play and we'll that'll all fix itself over time but silly mistakes can cost you a lot of time in this game so funny story all right so what are we going to be doing in today's video well i teased it last time we are going to be looking at filling in uh this area here and probably a bit into this uh, side as well so uh this is where we're going to be looking at building today uh an area that is long overdue for building so uh, in prep for today's video, I started emptying these cemeteries. Uh, it'll take some time, and if it gets to the point where we need to eliminate them, I'll show you a little uh, trick to do that um, if they're not completely empty. So, first things first, I think we are going to be looking at building up this area first. It's the smallest little area, it's a bit of a transitional zone between Tower Gardens and the amusement park area. So I think we should take a quick peek at what's going on through here. We have a library, we have a church, we have a cemetery. That is uh, all A-OK -okay with me. So what do we got going on over here? Well, we have a shop and a police station and a fire station. So I think what we need is just some trees in here to fill up the gaps. I don't think we're gonna do anything on the other side of Davies Street here. That is gonna be all part of the theme parks land but we have all of this land here and you know I'm thinking it's a prime location for some shops and for some residential housing I mean if we go on the other side of the street here we've got a mall an aquarium seems pretty it seems like a good place to live from to me so uh, let us start by just grabbing let's go with a, a nicer road here a nice road with trees and we're going to connect up right through here I'm actually gonna go from this side because I think that node is a bit off. Just don't want to mess up the grid. No, we're good. Glad to hear. Okay, so uh, we are going to start off with some low density shops and we're just going to pretty much 
zone that whole area up and then up to there as well. And then we're gonna do the same thing to about here. And then we're gonna get a nice big residential building over here. And uh, you know what, I think, I think we'll see what we get with, uh, with that. All right. So uh, we had a lot of gaps still here. So what I'm thinking is we have a, uh, a desire path. How about that? So we'll get a dirt path. And what is a desire path? Well, if you're walking along and you see like a dirt path that the city clearly did not intend to be a path, that is a desire path, a path in which pedestrians have built themselves <laughs> over time just by walking. Another little trick here is to not snap it in to just do that and then use move it to just drag it in. So it still connects, people will still use it, but it looks a bit nicer. Alrighty, so let's get a couple trees through here. Very good. And then uh, whenever you build a library here, they have access along the back, which is uh, a bit interesting. And if you can capitalize on it, do it. So <laughs> we're gonna uh, grab the pavement path. It's nothing special about this one. We're just gonna go right across and we're gonna turn anarchy on so we can go across the building and we're not gonna snap again. Just like that. So we're going right across where the pavement was and then we'll just do something like this. Fortunately, that bench is there. I think we can move it by just moving this node. There we go. Very nice, and now the building looks like it's kind of meant to be there, right? So let's turn up the sim a little bit. Um, and then now let's look at this. So we have a tram line running through here. So we'll let us take a quick peek at what that tram line is. All right, so it's in the orange line. There's a stop right here. So we don't necessarily need to stop over this way. And then it loops around and ends right over here. So I think it'd be a bit overkill to try to get one here, but why don't we just preemptively add some stops in right here? Because I think we're gonna need it. And uh, you know, yeah, this area is a, a great area for pedestrians. I mean, this tram line runs right to the heart of the city. It's got a subway stop over here. You can take this tram line and go to both lines. Uh, this this is one line. This is another line. We've got a couple buses through here. I think we can probably run a, a collection bus through here, but ah, I might be a bit overkill too. Um, alrighty, so. Technically, people can walk down here to get to this, these buses over this way, but I think I want to help them along with that. So we're going to run another desire path into the uh, amusement parks land. And we're just going to do that so it connects up at this intersection here. Very nice. Wow, that is a big building. Uh, I forgot that, that this district is actually a hotel district so that's not something we were looking for so we're gonna need to make sure that we change up this district so we're gonna start a new district here hotels were not something we were hoping for or I was hoping for in this district so a little funny that that's what happened so we're going to uh, why don't we just make it the entire area here we'll try to make it a nice uniform build at least on this side Alrighty, so Anchor Square. Feel free to, to name that, uh, to name it, name the uh, the district if you like. So let's delete that, let's delete that, and hopefully we get a bit uh, more thematic buildings. Alrighty, so this is a nice little area here. I think if we just add a couple trees in here, I think that'll really fill in the space. It's my least favorite condo building in the game, so we're gonna delete these two. And we're gonna see if we can get a, nice, a better, uh, yeah, there we go. So this is gonna be a three by three. Fantastic, okay, so uh, this area over here is prime location. I mean, it's right beside the mall, which looks more like an office building to me. So I think we're gonna run a, uh, a nice high density commercial building right here. We're not gonna go too, too big though. And we don't have any office demand, so we are just going to pretty much look at zoning the rest of it up as residential. Uh, right through here, I think we're gonna go with a low density commercial, and I think we'll run that right along through here. I'm gonna pause the game. You might see why I paused the game. Just gonna finish this off. Uh, 
don't like that size of building. Trying to leave some space and we're gonna get some larger buildings right through here. I think we'll just do that. I think we're probably fine if we just try to keep these blocks maybe. Um, yeah, we're gonna take this out and we're gonna fill that in. Okay, so don't want anything there because I don't like the buildings that spawn in that are two by four. So we'll leave that open. Or we could have just, we really could have just done something like that and then just let it all come in together, but it's too late now. <laughs> just rolling with the punches here. And we're gonna run a path down here like so. All right, very simple, very easy. Uh, let us grab some trees. We're gonna grab this big cluster of trees. We're gonna throw it right in that square. All right, so I'm gonna pause the game because I said I did and I just resumed it. And why are we doing that? Well, uh, we need to, oh, no, it's not this. It is data policies. There we go. Themes. Uh, so we are in the European theme right now and I want the international theme. So we're gonna just delete the European buildings that popped in. And we're gonna start getting some international buildings through here, which is great. So this one we're gonna let uh, upgrade. This is a, a great one here. I think that's gonna be the end. No, it's not. That's a pretty cool building. I like that. Perfect, okay. So uh, we've already built a nice transition zone between these higher density residential towers and this amusement park. So hopefully that all stays good. And now we're gonna look at building up this area. Well, what is gonna be in this area? Hmm. We still have a ton of residential demand, so we're definitely gonna stick with that. But uh, I think we need a park to separate uh, a lot of this area up. So if we kind of look at the height disparity of this area, it kind of goes down along this block, right? So we got some condos. I think we're gonna kind of continue that trend and we're gonna build just a small city park in the middle of Anchor Square to kind of just fill in that gap a little bit. I don't think there's a lot of parks around this area other than, than the amusement park, but not everyone wants to go to the amusement park, right? All the time. So I think we're, what we're gonna do actually is uh, find a road uh, or find our road network first through here and then we'll build that park. So it's gonna be in this square, but where in that square? Hmm, uh, let's go from, where's that stop? Right here. I feel like if we build a road right at that stop and come right across. Ooh, we're actually off a grid here. So I think we're gonna stick on this line here. And yeah, this is perfect right here. Okay, and we're just gonna do that. Going to reposition this to right in here. Okay, drag it over there, perfect. Uh, and then we're gonna actually pause the game again and we're gonna delete pretty much all of Thomas Road. So this is where that break happens in the grid, right? So I want to stop that from happening. So we're gonna delete that whole thing and we're gonna find that road, Thomas Avenue, bring it right across. Okay, so it's still happening. So that means the issue may actually be on the side. So while we're doing this, actually, this is a bike lane, so we're gonna upgrade this road to a bike lane. We're gonna use the vanilla one. And we're gonna see if just by doing that, we fixed it. Honestly, I think we did. Ah, uh, there's a bit of an issue over here, but I think that would be more along this end of things. So I think we'll just leave it uh, for now and we'll fix that later on. If not, in a future episode. Yeah, we still have our proper grid system, nice. So now our bike lane goes all the way through the city here to this bridge, uh, which comes, which goes right through the to the university up here too. And it can go all the way through this residential type uh, neighborhood that we've got going on. So we're actually going, uh, a good opportunity right here actually is to bring that bike lane down 
through the street. And we can actually continue it up uh, as well, which would be good. So since we're in the city, we're gonna be maintaining a bit of a grid. And I'm just gonna throw this one here for now. Uh, could see an opportunity to get a bit of a bridge over here uh, and continue this bike network into here, which actually would be fantastic. So why don't we try and do that? We're gonna use a mod that I have, which is the pedestrian and bike path. And we are going to build a little bridge. So let us go into bridge mode and we're gonna rise it up a little bit. And I think what we'll do is we'll kind of stagger it a little bit. So I think we only really need to be at around eight. And uh, yeah, I think we'll just kind of wing it. Bring this right across like that. And then we're gonna click home to bring it down. And yeah, we're gonna bring it down into here. I'm going to move this. Uh, we're gonna move this. Is that all being occupied? It is. That's a pretty big hill for something like this. Okay, we're we just gonna we're gonna plop it down right in here. All right. So. Not the picker mod, we need the move it mod. Uh, we're going to swing this out, like so. And I know it's a bit steep, but perhaps what we can say is you're encouraged to walk up it. <laughs> yeah, we're still good. Alrighty. And then what we'll do is uh, we'll actually just back this up. There we go. And we'll bring this over. We'll click home. We'll try to line it up at the same distance as that one. And then we'll bring it in. Alrighty, so... I'm actually gonna call a bit of a mulligan on myself there. I'm just gonna back it up to about here. Swing it out. I don't know if this should be more of like a curve. Hmm, we could also do a spiral. I know we don't really have enough. Oh, I mean, this is pretty dangerous if, uh, if you're actually driving, uh, riding on it, right? So why don't we uh, just look at moving this right across to here. And we'll move it right over. And we'll just kind of do something to make it seem a bit more realistic. How about that? That's a much better slope for that. And then we'll do the same thing uh, on the other side. Picker, there we go. And we're just gonna drag this right across, click home. Um, or actually, sorry, a uh, curve is what we need. Just like that. Right to the end. And uh, I actually need to make that elevated. So, silly me. Elevated. There we go. Get out of move it. Perfect. And then we're just going to smooth it out a little bit. Yeah, there we go. That works. Fantastic, okay, so in the future, maybe we can get another connection into here. But uh, now we've connected up our bike paths, almost. So we just need a bike path right through here, and there we go. So now we have a bike path all the way through here. And yeah, I think the best spot is to probably bring this down again. And uh, yeah, it's silly on the curve, but I think, uh, I think it all works out. I'll just leave it. Um, okay, so we got this in place. Uh, city, our Crest City Park is ready to be built. Um, we need to go back to the districts here. There we go, Crest City Park in Anchor Square. 
we're just going to go into the city park tool here. We're going to use the small park main gate. We're going to put it right here. And then we're going to get a couple side gates through here. So we'll get a side gate here and here. We'll just kind of mimic, or sorry, uh, mirror uh, everything. So we'll just put this one here then, and this one here. And I guess we'll have another one right here. So that's straight across. Yep. Yeah. Perfect. So pretty much what we're going to do is I think I want a roundabout in the middle here. So what we should really do is actually line these up first. So this guy should be right in the middle. And that means this one is going to rotate over ever so slightly as well. I'm going to connect these two. And then right in the middle here, I'm just going to do something like that. And I think we can use a roundabout builder. Or maybe not. No, that's okay, we'll just do it manually. Alright, so uh, we're gonna go out three units. Three units. Doesn't look the same. Goodness. What is which one is it? Okay, sorry, so I need road length. And I'll just try to, to eyeball it there. Okay. Uh, and then we'll just finish this off with a bit of this. Alrighty, and now we're just going to use the trees, the tree path, and connect it up. Alrighty, and then this one, I think what we'll do is we'll run a path like that, and in, and we'll do the same thing over here. Very cool. And we'll run this connection through, and we'll do the same thing. Oopsies. That's okay. And there we go, back together. Fantastic, okay, so I'm gonna eliminate the middle here. It's a bit off-centered, but if you look at it this way, it's, uh, it's not. <laughs> um, is it? It is, because I messed up, and that's okay. I think it still works, though. I think we'll just leave it. Um, so, because the idea of this was just to be like a bit of a break. So I think we need a cafe right in this corner here. It's a pretty cool little cafe spot. Uh, it's probably the only cafe we, we really need. Um, and I think we need a gazebo. Uh, it's going to be tough to get one right in the middle. I think it's going to complain about road access. No, it's not. Okay, nice. Yeah, very cool. Yeah, I guess this one wasn't the same distance as this one, so I think what we can do is actually just uh, grab all of this. Just want to make sure that's all proper, you know? Yeah, it's a bit. Whoops, wrong thing. And I messed up again. Okay, there we go. So back to move it. And I'm just going to slightly drag it over like that. We're just going to eyeball it. Just make sure it's a bit, a bit better than it was. All right, that's a lot better. So then if we come over and look at it like this, much nicer. Okay. So uh, what else can we add into this park? Well, a couple things. We'll just throw down some park assets. Doesn't need to really be a major park, but I think maybe we can get a bit of a jungle gym in here. This is a residential community after all, or it's going to be. Uh, so we'll get this right through here, just like that. And uh, I don't think there's really any other assets that are, like I'm really feeling like we need to add. So um, what we can do then is just go into here, we can find a nice tree. I was thinking something 
I don't really use these ones. Oops. Yeah, I don't really use these flowery trees that much. So why don't we do that? Yeah, see, you can tell I never really use them. All right, there we go. Got a nice little ring of beautiful trees. And uh, we need some fence, a fence line through here too, sorry. And then we'll get going on the building again. So we'll just bring this down to about here. I always like turning the guidelines off when I do fences because uh, the fences tend to be a bit touchy. So I'm just fencing this park because I feel like a city park like this, they tend to be fenced. Like an, uh, an urban park at least. And we don't need a fence along that side, but we'll bring a fence right through here. You know what, we'll actually just fence out the... Uh... Whoops, and now we just need to move this across. Alrighty, and then now I think I can actually delete this section. Perfect, okay. Very nice, very nice. Um, and now we can add some greenery into here to really make it seem like it's a break from the city. I'm not trying to make this a five-star park. This is a thematic park for the city to really help along with, uh, uh, with the look when we're looking from the top down. Nice, so it looks like uh, this has emptied itself, so we're gonna destroy it. There we go. Now people are gonna be really mad. Uh, we actually really need to work on death care in this city, so that's something that we can do uh, momentarily. So I'm just trying to clear this space because this is where I was looking to build uh, next, but if we go to death care since I was talking about it, I mean, we're all green, but once we start eliminating these cemeteries here, we're really going to see a reduction. So I think what I want to do is take this side and we're going to make it a bit of a larger cemetery. So uh, let us grab a road. Uh, let's go with the tree lined road. Let's turn our guidelines back on and let's hopefully find middle here. I know it's a bit dif different because the roundabout isn't in the middle. I feel like this side is a bit off, don't you? Oh no! That's okay. We'll just fix this really quickly. There we go. Um, yeah, it is. That's okay. Not everything needs to be perfect. So uh, let us just throw this through and I'll bring this road to here and then we'll make this a nice connection through the middle here. And yeah, so this is not exactly in the center. We saw that base because of the grid. So I'm just going to look to uh, move this. It's gonna be a bit difficult to do because I was worried about roading the grid lines of the two end roads, not necessarily the uh, tree line road. But um, let's just see how that turned out. Yeah, it's not too bad, but that's okay though because we're putting cemeteries through here. We're not really building uh, much anyways. So let us... Hmm. Yeah, so we'll put two of these in. And I'll just rotate this down. I actually, uh, I don't think we need the tree line road through here. I feel like that's a bit too many, too many trees with the amount of um, uh, trees in a cemetery. And I, don't, I was thinking that one, but that doesn't really suit the area either. How about this one? Uh, that one also doesn't really suit the build. We do the one with no parking. It looks like there's more sidewalk opportunity, and that is a bit nicer, isn't it? Okay, so we have two large cemeteries 
uh, over here. I think maybe if we look at uh, using one of our church assets, maybe that will kind of help. Oh, you know what? We have this one. I've never really uh, used this one yet. So why don't we throw this one right in the middle here? I was thinking maybe we could split this up a little bit. Maybe we can revise what we're doing and we can put this church um, over here and have the cemetery behind it. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna pause the game. We're just gonna use move it here. I'm just gonna throw this one over here for now and then we'll just drag this one over. Alrighty, so we'll throw this right to here. This is a rather nice church, isn't it? Okay, and then if we rotate this around, I don't think we have enough space to put it this way, do we? We do not, but you know what? We definitely did if we left the road where it was. <laughs> so let us call another mulligan on today's episode and uh, we'll do, do it properly. Okay, there we go. Bring this right across. All right, so now that we've got that in place, let's just make sure that this is actually centered. Today's video is sponsored by nothing being centered, apparently. <laughs> uh, okay, so let's uh, let's use the zoo paths because they are the best path in the game. Uh, and we're just going to turn off our guidelines here. We're gonna run the path right alongside. So it was a bit off on both sides, it seems. Just trying to center the concrete. Yeah, that's good. Okay, and then we're gonna use the one with trees. We're just gonna connect up. And uh, why don't we do the same thing? We're running right down the middle here. And we'll try to make it seem like there's a gate coming into the steeple over here. Okay, very nice. And we'll leave the church grounds rather exposed. I don't think there needs to be like a fence or anything. But I think maybe a couple of nice large trees might uh, might be good. So put ones on these corners here and we'll put ones on these corners. And we'll get a couple over here as well to kind of help the terrain a little bit. Yeah, that's, that's very nice. Um, okay, so now we're going to relocate this building. And uh, we definitely need this again, but I don't want it necessarily over here. So we could throw it along this side and say perhaps it's like a, a different church has uh, this cemetery or maybe it's an extension of this of this church or we can just look at moving it all together why don't we just do that we do need to have uh, more cemeteries so especially since we deleted two so i think that's gonna be fine if we do that so let's go back to death care and let's add in a crematorium as well um i don't know about over there and i don't know about over here to be honest Okay, we'll just try to consolidate the death care a little bit by leaving it, uh, putting them together over here. Um, all right, so now we have this block available, and I think this is a prime location for some residential expansion. So this is still Anchor Square, am I right? Yeah, okay, so we're still good on all of this, and we're just going to uh, cover this up with high density residential. We're gonna take that away. I think right along this corner here, we'll get some low density commercial. And then, oh. Okay, good, <laughs> I guess. Uh, yeah, it's probably gonna be fine. And then we'll run a uh, path or fence. Let's go with a fence this time. Right through here. Oh, getting a bit of an auto save. There we go. All right, so this is going to boom up really quickly. And now let me show you that little tip and trick to fixing 
uh, a cemetery uh, with move it that isn't uh, unloading fast enough for your build. So it is almost done. So we could theoretically just wait. So it's not exactly the most game breaking thing in the world right now, but you just take move it, you click it and you click the bulldoze and it will eliminate it right away, which is very useful, very handy indeed. So um, we have a pedestrian path over here. You know, crossing over this way it is a, uh, a, a bike path bridge it connects up to here with this bike path. I think we're gonna be missing an opportunity here if we don't connect this up with a ped bike path mix. So let us do that with a uh, one with trees. And we're just going to go into freeform. I'm gonna run right alongside the train track. And we're going to come right into here. Like so. There we go. We'll get some trees right along here. And how about a fence too? So this is the zoo fence that we have great opportunity to extend the zoo fence farther along than we had previously uh, previously done so so we'll just do that and I'll bring this zoo fence right along through here and we'll take this right to this point on this side um, and I guess we can do the same thing on the other side look at that perfect alrighty and then I guess what we can do is once we build on this side, we could continue that look. I think we said we're gonna take the bridge that way. Uh, but I just wanna focus on getting this block done today. And this is gonna be a different district. And we'll make it this entire side. So Walnut Square. And we have Anchor Square. Okay, so that is fantastic. So now we're back over here. I, I got distracted by this, but we're gonna stick to Anchor Square today and we'll do Walnut Square another time. Um, this location is an absolutely prime location for office development and commercial development, but we don't really have the demand for that right now. So I think what we'll do is we'll look at, first of all, just building it out, getting it zoned and leaving it be for a little while. So we'll continue uh, this area up for residential zoning. Uh, we're gonna go find a nice path uh, right through here. Just like that. I'm just gonna use move it to realign these a bit better. Okay, and then we'll use the node controller to throw in a crossing. Even though it's not really necessary, but I just wanna show it up. There we go, so now people can easily walk from down here uh, right to here. Actually, since this is the bike network, I think it'd be a bit efficient to use this bike lane again right through here. Yeah, all right, so we're gonna use High density zoning, and you know what? Before I forget, uh, holy cow! We talked about this at the beginning about how I messed up and put high rise ban on everything. Uh, I don't want to forget to put on high rise ban when I actually want it. So I wanted a high rise ban over here because these buildings are a bit too tall for my liking. But I think we'll believe them if they if they stay. We're not going to destroy them. But these buildings are the type of height that I'm looking for a good medium density. You know. Okay, so this whole block here is going to be residential. Perfect, okay, so uh, now let us continue building out Anchor Square. And I wanna save enough time to do one small thing that I promised someone in the comments section that I start doing a bit more often. Uh, but I, uh, I just thought of doing it right now and I don't want to forget I'll, at the beginning of the episode. Um, I just don't want to forget and uh, I don't know if there's enough to do a whole video on it. So that's why I'm thinking about doing it right now. Actually, we don't need one there. I think we can take the condos right to the end here. Not necessarily condos. 
Oh, actually, no, I don't want high rises over on this side. There we go. Let us get some low density commercial. Actually, hmm. Let's cut that out. Let's cut that. Yeah. I think this is going to be good. So I want an office building here if we get the chance to get an office building here. So I think what I what we'll do though is extend it out to about here so we can get it's going to be at least two in here. I think that'll be good. And then we'll get some commercial right through here. And actually we'll just do that. Uh, okay, so now we just need some paths. Um, we're gonna go with the zoo path, no decorations, and just bring it right across. And then we're gonna go, oh, that wasn't the zoo path, no decorations. And then now we're gonna do the zoo path with decorations. And we're just gonna put it right here. There we go, just scooch it over a little bit so it's straight. and let's see how that looks pretty good so I'll wait for all that to come in we did end up using up all our residential demand for now and by filling that in that's really nice this area here is such a prime location to live holy moly um, okay so what did I what was I talking about before well there's not a ton of downtown cargo rail and uh, I was thinking about making a video on expanding the cargo rail network but I feel like it's going to kind of come and go as we need it at this point. Um, and we've already done a, we've done a recent video on it, but I want to add a couple more cargo lines downtown. So I think we're going to get another one over here once we start building out this way. So we'll add that to a build. Uh, and then uh, we have one over this way, but I feel like maybe we could definitely perhaps get another one out this way. But there's not really much more opportunities to do downtown cargo rail we're running most of our downtown cargo out of, out of here but there's a great spot right here to put a cargo rail line in so just just a stop so that is what we're going to do so we're going to just take a, a quick little break here from what we did we're going to move some things around a little bit over here uh, i don't think necessarily need this building but i'll try to save it if we if we can um and it's not going to be the most efficient building, uh, sorry, cargo rail in the world, but it's going to be the cargo rail that we can we can get. So I didn't want to really have a spur line over here, so I was thinking this would be a great spot just to kind of squeeze one in. So let us just delete this. And we are going to use this right here. And we're going to spin right off of it. Again, this is probably not ideal. But it's going to work. And then we're just going to do something like this. Turn guidelines off again, please. There we go. I think this is about as good as we can get it. And I think this will fit. Nope but we can make it fit. That was the point. Whoops. There we go. Okay, yeah, so this didn't fit as I was hoping. So I think what we'll do is I'll just delete this little bit right here. And now that we have it placed, at least I can, whoops, I can adjust it. Okay, so this is just so my, uh, my, my vision for this cargo stop and, and its theme is that this is our municipal, uh, holy cow, municipal services area. So perhaps if cargo needs to be unloaded for, um, say, our metro system or, uh, yeah, our metro system, that makes sense, <laughs> or our parks, because we have our parks here, or we have some of our helicopters out this way, perhaps it comes through this um, rail station 
all together. So we're going to move this taxi stand as well. Our taxi depot, sorry. Let's throw it right over here for now. Uh, and this was also just placed here temporarily, so we'll have to move those in the future. But I think what we'll do is we'll get the road right off of here. There we go. And if I just manipulate it just enough, we might be able to make this work. Because we can change the spawn points as well, which is fantastic. All right, we'll go with uh, industry road right here. Let's turn node snapping off and bending because this is not a the theme of this one is it's not a super heavy duty line. This is just a smaller station. Yeah, this uh, we're gonna need to do a bit of move it with, uh, with this building as well. Alrighty. Yeah, this works. And just making sure I'm not gonna run over time. I think we're good. We're gonna connect this up. So we'll turn node snapping on, turn bending off. Connect up like that. And then we'll connect up over here. This, uh, I was watching this before. This is not a heavily used line, which is another reason why I thought of squeezing this in over here. Not many trains come through here, but it might be worth it if we can figure it out. So let us get a couple fences through here. Let's go with just the park fence. I think that's going to be just enough. And we'll get this right across through here. Bring this right to there. Kind of separate the rail line. A little bit and we'll bring this fence right to here alrighty and we also need a fence right to here and over and down alrighty so not exactly sure if we need industry in here at all but hopefully Trucks will start coming into this uh, station for drop off uh, and for pickup. We can actually check that right here. Do this and go to here. Yeah, nothing at the moment, it seems, but. Uh, oh, yeah, there we go. Got a, a drop off. Perfect. Okay. Oh, and I said we're going to change the spawn point a little bit to make it a bit, uh, a bit tighter. Okay, perfect. Yeah, pretty cool. Okay, so let us just add in a couple industry buildings through here to fill out the theme a little bit. And we'll move these once we start building out this way because these really shouldn't be here. Did a train just arrive? And I missed it. I guess so. Um, oh, and we missed this little spot right here. And I forgot to bring the fence all the way down and across. Okay, very nice. So I think there's just a couple things we can tweak. Like this right here. We'll square this node a little bit. Probably bring these out. This one out. We can't really bring the other ones out. Yeah, okay. Yeah, this works. I'm, uh, I'm happy that I was able to squeeze it in. Uh, especially because uh, we really need it. Um, all right, so this is going to be industry. But other than that, we uh, we filled up this area here. So why don't we take the screenshot from over this way for today's video? Awesome. All right, folks, have a lovely day. Talk to you soon. Peace out.